Let's bring it back to the studio, and I'm joined now by TRT World's editor-at-large, Ahmed al Burai. Thanks for coming in. <clears throat> How concerned are you for the conflict in Yemen right now? Well, Andrea, everybody in the whole region is deeply concerned, and it's been like seven years, but this time it's a major unequivocal turning point in the war in Yemen by the death of Ali Abdullah Saleh, the deposed president of Yemen. It seems that the shattering between the two alliances, the, uh, the, the loyalists, the supporters of Ali Abdullah Saleh and the Houthi, the group that killed him, is going to have a a dark, dire repercussions on the coming few days. The spillover is grim. Now it seems that the Saudi-led coalition is going to have a punishing bombing campaign to revenge the, the death of Ali Abdullah Saleh. On the other hand, you have his son, who is believed to be in uh, the United Arab Emirates in house arrest. He vowed revenge, and he said that he's going to be heading, if he can, to the uh, Yemen in order to lead the campaign to uh, kill every Houthi till the last. That's what he tweeted, according to the Saudi uh, news agency. He is going to kill every Houthi in Yemen. Also, Abd Rabbu Mansour Hadi, who is the internationally recognized uh, president of Yemen, who is in Saudi Arabia, in Riyadh, he also asked the whole Yemenis to unite in order to push these Houthis out of Yemen. So it is on the ground, it is very dire consequences going to have. But on the other hand, you have the opposition, the people on the ground, not only the uh, congregation of the Yemenis for reform, that is the Muslim Brotherhood branch in Yemen, mm -hmm. who are not on the same page with the US, uh, with the uh, Saudi-led coalition, also, you have even uh, uh, Saleh's party, his own party, the General People's Party, they're not on the same page. They're not one block when you're speaking about uh, taking avenge or retaliating against the Houthi in Yemen. So it is a very complicated situation. It depends mainly on the regional powers, basically the, U uh, the uh, Saudi-led coalition and the, Un the United Arab Emirates. When you listen to those calls for revenge and you listen to people like his son, uh, you could think this could only go very badly. But what could happen that could potentially de-escalate this conflict? Who could step in to either moderate or go ahead? You have a complete failure in terms of the regional powers, the proxy war. You have the Saudis and the Iranis deeply involved. involved. The U.S. and the U.K. supported the Saudis with the ammunition, with the weapons that was used in this war. And nobody have any say to tell them that we need to end this humanitarian crisis. The blockade is going on. Some seven million are on the brink of a, a famine. One million are infected with cholera. So it is a very complicated humanitarian catastrophe and a crisis on the ground. While the proxies are ongoing, the Saudis are supporting uh, their militias on the ground. They're uh, supporting them by air, uh, aerial bombardment. And on the other hand, the Iranians are supporting the Houthis. This is going to continue unless the inaction, the paralysis, of the international community is gone and they step in and then tell them we need to find a, a, a compromise to what's going on. That's the only solution you could have. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, you have Ali Abdullah Saleh who was um, dancing for the whole of his life on the heads of snakes as the cliche he himself used. And ironically, he was killed by a pit snake, and that is the Houthi. So you do not know exactly how these kind of alliances in this particular region of uh, Yemen, mm -hmm. how it changed. The guy himself, Ali Abdullah Saleh, changed his coats. Even he changed the alliances, he switched the sides rapidly and dramatically overnight, and that led to the catastrophe. He could have relinquished the power to as any other president in the world and let it to the people on the ground to decide. But the Arab autocrats all over the region, in Syria, in Libya, they decide to go on to the uh, end of the road by killing their own people. There could have been other choices if they stepped down from the very beginning. Okay, but the damage has been done. Okay, Ahmed, we'll have to leave it there. Thanks so much for coming in.